just a disclosure, this is going to be very different than most of my other videos. So if you were comparing this content to the sermons or devos I've done, please don't. Um, if you're looking for something more like that, please go check out those other videos that I have posted. Uh, but to get into this video, my name is Christian Rowe. I am currently in my parents' house in Marietta, Georgia, and intend to do this video in one take uh, with no notes or anything like that, uh, just to kind of digest where I'm at spiritually right now and kind of where I'm at in my testimony and my walk with Christ. And I kind of want kind of want to share this uh, with, with, with you all for some encouragement or, or just so that you can relate or for anything like that. I realize that this, um, what I'm about to share may be uh, self-sabotaging, if, if that's if that's even a word uh, for this, um, when it comes to opportunities in the future and things like that. But I think it's important for individuals today, especially Christians, to be really real about um, kind of who they are, what they're going through, things that life is throwing at them, things God is challenging them with. And so with that said, I just, I want to lay my heart out um, in, in this video and kind of, like I said, digest and process what the Lord is, is doing in my life right now and teaching me um, kind of through all that's going on. So right now, it is currently April 2nd, 2020. There's a huge coronavirus thing going on, COVID-19. If you if this is way down the road, years later, and you forgot about it, look it up. It's crazy. Um, things are happening all around us. Lives are changing. People are dying. Uh, and it's just, it's it's a hard time. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a junior at Johnson University. That's where I go to school at. And so we have kind of been sent home. So like I said, I'm, I'm in Georgia at my parents' house now in their den. It's beautifully decorated, as you can see. Um, and it's been honestly not that bad for me personally. It's been great because I've been able to kind of uh, dive into my dive into my spiritual life and get to know God a little bit better during this time as well. I've been able to hang out with my family quite a bit, play a lot of basketball with my brother out in the driveway, and it's it's been a pretty good time. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's had challenges of its own that have just been difficult. Um, the most significant of those challenges that I'm currently facing now is my current relationship status uh, with, with Kyra Diver. Uh, she is the most beautiful, amazing, incredible woman. I've dated her for um, close to three and a half years now, uh, since, since we were juniors in high school. And she is she's awesome. I love her, I, I, and I'm lucky very much so to be loved by her. Uh, but a few weeks ago, uh, March 19th, 2020, she and I decided to, to take a break. And that was my fault. I, I, I initiated uh, that conversation just because lately I haven't been in the best place spiritually. And I'm not really sure why that is um, per se. I just, I've had a lot of distractions, been busy, um, kind of things like that. And I haven't really exhibited the self-discipline I need to when it comes to like creating, excuse me, and establishing those healthy habits to allow God to pour into me. I haven't been getting up early and doing my quiet times like I normally do. I haven't been working out as much. Um, I've been staying up way later than I need to. I've been letting my mind kind of go crazy with um, like sinful thoughts and things like that. And it's just, it's not been, it's not been the greatest time. And so uh, I kind of initiated this break for us to take so that way I can like take a step back and just kind of get myself right again here um, so that I can better love and lead her here uh, in, in this, this horizontal realm that we're in. Um, with that said, since that happened, um, there's just kind of been a lot still. I've been I've been reading through the Psalms since then. Um, I'm reading four a day currently. I read today through Psalm 60. So it's been about 15 days since this has happened. And I'm loving it. I'm journaling through the Psalms, drawing through them. It's actually a really cool, really cool process. Um, and it's, it's teaching me a lot. Uh, I'm being reminded time and time again how good and gracious and faithful our God is to provide, how he won't let our enemies triumph over us, how he has not abandoned or forsaken us. Um, in fact, it's it's almost as if in, in this time in my life, I feel not as if he's abandoned me, but if as if I have began to abandon him. What I mean by that is not a, I, I've not forsaken my faith or anything like that. I, I definitely know that God is real and that He's He's present and He's moving. Um, but I've kind of cultivated this apathetic attitude when it comes to practicing spiritual disciplines and, and pouring into my relationship with Him. Uh, when I pray, it's it's kind of more out of routine and 
because uh, I know I'm supposed to out of obligation more so than out of reverence and love. Uh, same almost when I'm reading the Bible. Not as much these last two weeks drawing through the Psalms, but, but more recently. And I just, I want to do away with that. I want to be so completely and totally transformed um, by Christ's love for me and my love for him uh, that he is the only thing on my heart. And it's actually interesting because during this time, uh, I've been home the last couple of weeks and it's been it's been a little boring. Um, and so sometimes at night, I'll get on this website called Megal. Um, again, if this is a few years down the road and you've never heard of it, you can you can look it up. It's a pretty cool website. Um, essentially, it's 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 like FaceTime for for strangers. And some things are you know pretty bad. You, you see some things that you don't want to see. Um, but sometimes you get to really connect with some some awesome people. And so I was actually on tonight. I uh, just about 30 minutes ago, and I got to meet this dude named Graham. Uh, Graham goes to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. He is studying marketing there. He, he, he's majoring in that. Um, it, but he wants to be a pastor. And, and so it was really inspiring and, and kind of humbling for me to sit and have, you know, about a, a 30, 45 minute long conversation with this guy about um, kind of what God is doing in both of our lives. And for me, as, as an individual that's in Bible college who is learning all the the right terms and the um, like processes for preaching, like all, all of those things. It's really humbling uh, when I see someone that is going to a, to a non-Christian school who's majoring in a, in a, in a secular um, degree, yet who is so on fire and hungry for Christ. Um, that this is something I just haven't had recently. And so, like I said right now, I just want to be really real um, and, and open and kind of share this because I feel like at times, um, many of you could probably relate with these feelings as well. But I think God is teaching me that that's okay. That even in the midst of our pain and our suffering, He's still there. Uh, he's still present. He has not hid our face from us. He has not um, turned away. And so now I actually uh, want to read. Um, like I said, this, this is not scripted or, or planned or prepared. I just thought of it currently. I want to read Psalm 51, um, and, and as I read it, it I'll be praying, it, um, and I, I hope that, that this will be in your prayer as well. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me, yet restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your way so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. You, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, and burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. To me, this is so powerful uh, because it serves as a reminder that God does not desire arbitrary works from us. He said, it, you do not delight and sacrifice my God or I would bring it. Um, and He doesn't delight in our, in our work. He doesn't rejoice when I sit down and, and read my Bible out of habit or obligation or see it as a chore. Um, but prefers, even I would say, a, a, a broken spirit, a, a broken and contrite heart. And I'm so thankful that he does, because that's kind of where I'm at right now. 
uh, just with everything that's going on in the world around me, uh, me not having any friends here in Georgia because my parents just moved, and they've been in California, I've been at school, um, so I don't know anyone here, and it's just been, it's been difficult. Um, not, um, not as much as, as other individuals who are suffering loss and things like that during this time, um, but everyone is facing their own challenges, and so it's been difficult to maintain a spirit of, of, of hope, to maintain a spirit of, of power and confidence in what God is doing in the world around us. Um, yet I've, I've not let that discourage me from, from knowing and recognizing the truth that God is, in fact, moving and working. And so for right now, um, I think I just need to take a step back. I, I need to eliminate the distractions and, and not starting with Kyra uh, because since we've taken a break, I've noticed that she had no impact on my lack of spiritual health. And, and I, in fact, I think she made me better. Um, but the things that are just kind of worthless um, to me, like comparing myself to others on Instagram or talking to people I probably shouldn't be talking to on Snapchat or, I don't know, doing whatever it is that I'm doing that is detracting me, um, distracting me from pursuing God wholeheartedly. And so that's what I want to do. I want to kind of cut out um, some TV. I want to binge watch some sermons instead of How I Met Your Mother. I want to kind of set some goals to memorize some scripture. I haven't done that in a little bit. I want to um, pray openly and, and honestly and not see it as, as fake and formal, um, but as if I'm talking to a friend. Because that's who he is. Uh, he desires to know me, um, to know all of me, and he, he does the same for you. And so I just ask in this time um, for you to be encouraged, hopefully by my story, uh, by, by being honest about where you're at in your faith and sharing that with others so that they can relate, yet still knowing that God is in control, that he is moving, that he is powerfully um, doing things that, that you may not see. And I, I pray and I hope and I, I have confidence in that he's doing the same for me now. And so I just want to thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you are late, you can definitely reach out to me on social media, whatever. Um, but if not, I just I just want to leave you with, with, with this challenge. Be real about who you are, uh, what you're going through, and what God's teaching you. And I think He will continue to be faithful to provide and to extend forgiveness and grace and to love you all the more because of it. Thank you.